For David Richards, the energy industry is more than a job. It's in his blood. His father and grandfather established an electrical construction firm more than 60 years ago to meet the growing demand for energy. Even still, he says little could have prepared them for the pace of change underway. We certainly knew something was going to happen in the industry, but we didn't envision that it was going to be the size it is today. You know, that the projects we're seeing and the amount of work that needs to be done. Across Australia, the shift away from fossil fuels towards renewable energy is placing enormous pressure on electricity systems to keep pace with the change. Now a government blueprint on what's required in WA has been released, showing the need for a massive expansion of the grid, including 4,000 kilometres of new high voltage power lines. Driving the expansion will not only be the replacement of coal and gas-fired power with renewable sources, but the need to meet surging demand as industry electrifies. This will be a revolution for the southwest interconnected system. It will see the amount of electricity used uh, go up by at least three times to, uh, compared to today. While few observers dispute that an overhaul of the electricity system is necessary, there are calls for the government to be more upfront about the costs of the transition. I've said before, I think the cost of the transition is actually $15 billion or more, not the $3.8 billion the government currently has in the budget. What we're doing is investing $126 million so that Western Power can do all the proper planning uh, to build the infrastructure that's needed. David Richards says the most pressing challenge is getting access to enough workers and materials to build the required projects. The way we're seeing it is the network needs to be, you know, recreated almost to fit in the renewable assets. No one said going green would be easy. Daniel Mercer, ABC News.